so I'm really bad with updating and being consistent as you can see with YouTube not with my life with YouTube because I have so many things going on so I want to give an update I'm not sure if I, ever, I told you guys that I was getting my BSN well I got that done I, I knocked that out um, over the last couple of months and that was a lot of work I went to WGU and it's a lot of papers and, uh, and things like that so that's where most of my time was between that my family and working so I didn't have a lot of time of course to do the YouTube thing and be consistent with that but I've been consistent with you know working out like I and losing the weight and um, I'm still working in home care so this is the update so I left the hospital in December because December of 2022 and it will be almost a year it is now August 16th or something like that so <laughs> it, it's been almost a year it will be a year in December and I thought I was gonna completely hate home care, but I completely love home care. It is so flexible. Um, at first, I'm not even gonna lie, it was very difficult because it seemed overwhelming because I didn't have my time management down pack. So with home care, you have to be efficient and effective and you have to know how to manage your time. And you cannot, and you have to get the hospital mentality out of your brain. That's what I had that was messing me up was that hospital mentality. I, I couldn't wrap around the fact in my mind that we're not acute care. We don't, we are not your personal nurse, you know, so I don't get freaked out. Um, if things are happening in the home and I have to call 911, just call 911. I'm not there to try to figure it out and to call the doctor because the doctor, what the doctor does in home care is tell them to go to the emergency room, tell them to go to urgent care. Uh, there's nothing that I can do in the home, you know, to make this patient better. You know, I'm not there for that. I'm there to teach the patient, and it took me a long time to realize that, teach the patient how to take care of themselves at home. And then one of the questions that I was told to, you know, make sure I ask myself and ask the patient, well, how would you do this if there was no nurse coming to your, your home? How would you take care of this situation? Because, you know, patients also will put you in a, in a, predicament where it makes they make you feel that you're responsible to do certain things for them you're responsible to get their medications you're responsible to you know call a doctor about this and that and that and that no they're responsible to do that and the hospital yes we are that's why it was very hard for me to get the hospital mind out of my brain because I thought that all of these responsibilities were mine and I had to take them on and it became very overwhelming in that aspect. So once I got my mindset changed, I began to function in home care better. I knew what my job was now, <laughs> what I can do, what I should do and what I shouldn't do. So that was really hard. And time management, of course, manage your time well. You know, sometimes I like to chit chat and talk to patients but I have a certain time uh, frame that I have to be in that home so that I can go to the next patient and honor their time because they're waiting for me. Um, some things that I, ca I can't control and I have to be there and remain there until uh, uh, emergency services, for example, come so that the patient can be safe. But that's why we give a two-hour window. So in home care, we give a two-hour window to make sure that we are respectful of other patients time because that's enough time for me to call the office and they can send somebody else out or to call the patient and say look I'm gonna be late um, what else so with home care it's a lot of teaching and a lot of training it's a lot of wound care um, we do Foley's we put in IVs we give IV medications for example like Remicade um, we draw blood. I be, I've become an expert in putting in IVs and drawing blood because there is no backup system. I am it. And that's another thing with home care. You have to be up on your skills. In the hospital, you can call, oh, can you come do this for me? Can you help me with this? There's nobody to help me. I'm it. So with home care, you really have to know what you're doing. Um, a lot of wound vacs. 
lot of teaching and training about medication, about um, disease process and, and management. that's what it is and we are there for a couple of weeks along with physical therapy speech therapy occupational therapy they do their thing and then we're out and we're off to the next patient these are the patients that come from rehab or from the hospital and they just need a little help to get back to their baseline and that is what we're there for we're not there to be their personal nurse and to take care of them and to do everything for them they have to be able to do this at home because once we're out they're on their own and that's what we're teaching them to, how to be independent at home. Uh, what else I want to tell you? So right now it's about 8 or 5 in the morning and I'm early because I have a meeting at the office. That's the only reason why I'm early because other than that, I'll start my day at 10 o'clock. I start seeing patients at 10 o'clock depending on where they are. If they're out in the boondocks, I was, I, the earliest is going to be 9. I see patients at 8 o'clock only if it is IV related. If I have a whole bunch of IVs that day, and I have to take all these, uh, all this, the um, the labs to the lab, the blood draws to the lab, then I'll start my day early because it's a lot of driving and going to different places, and I have to account for that in my day. If I am way out in the boondocks, sometimes I'm way out in the area. I have an area that's 40 minutes away from my house and 40 minutes away from other patients because I also have patients in my area. And if I'm seeing patients that's way out, I have to take into consideration the drive time. And that's what makes my day longer because it can be shorter. I can end at two o'clock, but the drive time is what's making it a lot longer and my run my mouth. <laughs> That's another thing. <laughs> Let them be cute. And I, I'm sitting there talking to them. You know, you're not supposed to say that about patients. Patients are not cute. But some of them are. And I just want to talk to them and be of comfort to them. Because they need that. They're all alone, some of them. And they just want somebody to talk to. And I am happy to do that after I do everything that I have to do. And sometimes if there's my last patient they want to chit-chat, I'll chit-chat. We can sit there and talk. We can talk about life. We can talk about whatever's on their heart. You know? Um, so, and that's what's, that's the beauty of home care. I get to spend time with the patients. And I don't make them feel like I'm throwing medication at them and running because that's how I felt most of the time. And um, I make them feel that they're being listened to. What else? I think that's it. I like home care. Would I ever go back to the hospital? Not right now. No. I don't want to. And another thing, I get paid so much more working in home care than I did at the hospital. And I thought I was going to take a pay cut. I thought that it would be less, but it's about five to six hundred dollars more in my paycheck than when I worked at the hospital. And I was surprisingly shocked by that. And being in home care, um, some of that money does come from the mileage that they pay you. And if you're on call, um, that's even more money. And we are on call on different days of the week. I was on call for three days because I worked the weekend. I was on call Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and on Monday. So we are on call during the week. And do people call? No, not often. Um, there could be months. Months can go by before someone calls. And if they do call, they go to the triage nurse first. And they try to help them out with it. If it's something that can't wait until the morning, then that's when they send us out. Like a Foley came out or something like that. But if it's a wound back and it came off, we, the nurse will tell them to, you know, put a wet to dry dressing on it and the nurse will be out in the morning. If they, they won't send us out if it's not an absolute safety problem or an emergency, something that we have to take care of. Somebody has something stupid in the room, sorry. <laughs> that we have to take care of. So, um, it guys you guys be blessed if you have any questions about home care I want to take you guys with me during the day like um, I'm not going to take
take you in their home, of course, but just so that you can get an idea. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my car, my little car stock. You know, it's another thing you have to be very organized. I have my little bag here. Everything is organized. Um, your bag is your clean space, and there's a lot of rules and everything that go along with how you take care of your bag. Um, we do things in home care differently than the hospital and a lot of patients, there's a lot of teaching and education about that because when patients see you do certain things that they're not used to and somebody else in the hospital did it, they will question you about it. Then we have to bring it on back and say, this is home care, this is not hospital, this is your home. This is your environment, these are your germs. So we do things differently, this is your home. So all of that stuff that they do in the hospital for um, sterility, we don't do that here in home care. And we just, it's, just a, it's a lot of education. All right, guys, I'm here at my office, getting ready to have a office meeting. And then from there, I'll be driving 40 minutes to the booties to do a start of care and to do wound care. There's two patients out there and then um, I come back to where my neck of the woods and bust out some visits there. So you guys be blessed and take care and hit me up if you have any questions. Bye.